Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can make your very own click to pick up system. So before we get started, I'm going to head inside of Roblox Studio where I'll give you a quick example on how this system works. Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio. I'm going to move to this donut part over here and you can see when I click on it, the donut goes inside of my inventory and then I can hold it and it works just like a normal tool. So now I'm going to head into a brand new Roblox Studio instance where I'll teach you on how you can make this for yourself. Okay, so here we are back inside of Roblox Studio and now I'll teach you on how you can set this up. So first of all, you're going to need a normal tool just like I have here. It's a completely normal tool, there's nothing special about it. And then we're going to have to duplicate this. So I'm going to press Control D and that's going to duplicate my tool. Now the second tool we have here, we need to make sure that everything is unanchored. So you can see when I click on each part, they're not anchored. Then what we need to do is we need to move the tool of our choice to server storage. I'm going to click on the tool and I'm going to move it to server storage. And now we can get started with scripting. One tool will have a click detector inside of it that will allow the player to click on the tool and get it inside of their inventory and that tool is going to be the tool inside of Workspace. So this tool, we need to make sure that it's anchored. So we can click on handle, we can click the anchor button, and we can check and make sure everything is anchored. If it doesn't work when you click handle and you try to anchor it, click on the mesh part or any parts you have as a child of the handle, click anchor, and then click anchor on the handle and you can see everything is now anchored. Now that that's done, you can see the tool has a touch interest inside of it. Now a touch interest allows the player to walk on a tool and pick it up. And now we don't want that. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a script that will remove or delete this touch interest. So first of all, we need to make sure that there isn't already one there. Because we don't want two touch interests instead of one. So we're going to click on this ongoing touch interest and we're going to delete it. Now we're going to create a script inside of our handle. So you can do that by clicking plus and then click on script. Looks like my Roblox Studio was bugging out a bit there. And now all we need to put is script.parent.touchInterest, just like how I do it, colon destroy. And now this will destroy the chosen touch interest. Now I'm going to head inside of Roblox Studio where we can test this out for ourselves. And now to test this out, we're just going to walk on that donut and you can see we don't pick it up. Now that that's all done, we're going to have to script the part that will allow the player to click on the donut and then get it inside of their inventory. So let's head back into Roblox and we'll continue scripting there. Okay, now we're back in Roblox Studio, we're going to head over to our handle, we're going to click the plus button and we're going to have to try and create a click detector inside of this handle. So just search up click detector, click on it and now there's a click detector inside of our part. Now we're going to have to create a script inside of our click detector. This will be the script that detects when somebody clicks on the click detector and then it will give them the part. So what we need to do is we need to detect when the click detector is clicked. So to do this we can say script.parent and that will go to our click detector and then we're going to say dot clicked or dot mouse click connect function and now of course we need to get the player that clicked it so we're going to say player here and now what we need to do is we need to clone the tool that's inside of server storage. So we're going to have to say local cloned tool equals. So we can do that by saying game.serverstorage.cyandonut. That's the name of the donut. Your tool may have a completely different name to mine. And then we need to simply say clone. And now we need to put this tool inside of the player's backpack. To do this, we can say clone tool.parent equals player dot backpack okay now you can publish that do all the saving and then we're going to head inside of play and we're going to test this out and see if it works okay and now we can test it out if we go up to the donut and we click on it you can see we get it in our inventory and now we can also walk around with it 
So thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you want to talk with the Cookie Take community or you have any issues with scripting support, feel free to head to our forms. That's forms.thecookie.dev. Thank you for tuning in. That's all from me and bye bye. Thank you.